From the cruise capital of the world, this is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Here's your cruise news for Friday, October 21st. The wait is finally over as Royal Caribbean has revealed the first details on its longest ship ever, Icon of the Seas. Though it's the first in a new class, the 250,000 gross register ton vessel will be similar to Oasis of the Seas in many ways. It'll feature eight distinct neighborhoods, five of them being brand new for the line. Thrill Island will feature a free fall and drop water slides, plus a skywalk and a ropes course that takes guests over the side of the ship. Chill Island will feature four swimming pools, including a swim-up bar and the largest pool on any cruise ship at sea. The ship will also include a kid's water park, the first suspended infinity pool at sea, and Royal Caribbean's first indoor aqua theater, which hosts high dive shows. Icon of the Seas is scheduled to debut in January of 24, offering seven night cruises from right here in Port Miami. Bookings will open to the public on October 25th. And happy one year anniversary to Holland America's Rotterdam. After being pushed back numerous times at the cruise industry restart, the vessel set sail on its inaugural sailing one year ago on October 20th. After spending the winter season sailing from Port Everglades, the ship headed across the pond to sail cruises from Norway from Amsterdam over the summertime. The ship is currently on Holland America's 150th anniversary sailing, retracing the same exact voyage as Rotterdam one did 150 years ago today. And it's the final goodbye. Carnival Ecstasy departed Miami on Thursday, marking the last time the ship will ever be in U.S. waters. The vessel docked here in Port Miami following the last sailing from Mobile, Alabama this past Saturday. While here in Miami, the ship offloaded casino and gaming tables, proprietary equipment, crew were transferred or headed for vacation, and provisions were offloaded for other Carnival ships. Ecstasy is now en route to her final resting place at a shipbreaking yard in Turkey. The ship was built for Carnival Cruise Line, one of eight of them, and was in service for 31 years. And Cruise Line stocks were up on Thursday. Carnival Corporation up 4%, 8.00. Royal Caribbean up 2%, 47.52. And Norwegian up 2.3%, 14.23. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Here in Miami, Florida, I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.